Freshworks provides a powerful sales-focused CRM software designed to nurture customer relationships from day one. Now, the Freshworks CRM also offers a generous free plan that focuses on lead engagement so that you can accelerate the customer journey. Hey team, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope you're all good and well. Now today I'm gonna dive into a Freshworks CRM tutorial for beginners and help you navigate and get started with Freshworks CRM so that you can better manage your customers, your leads, and your sales process. Okay, now before I get you up and running with the free Freshworks CRM, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and launch into the free Freshworks sales focused CRM. <music> Okay, so first things first, what we need to do is head over to freshworks.com forward slash CRM forward slash sales and that's going to take you to the Freshworks CRM webpage or alternatively what you can do is click the link in our description below this video and that link will take you to this webpage. Now it's important to note that this link is an affiliate link which means if you decide to upgrade to a paid plan within Freshworks CRM we will get a small commission and this just helps support our channel to continue creating educational content so thank you in advance. Okay so with that out of the way let's go ahead and navigate up to pricing. And today what we're going to do is focus on Freshworks free plan. So navigate down here, you can always upgrade to a paid plan if you want more extensive features within Freshworks CRM. However, today what we're going to do is just navigate over to the free plan and help you get up and running with some of the important features that the free plan has to offer. And this is sufficient for small businesses. So go ahead and select sign up and then go ahead and sign up with your details. What we're gonna do is quickly navigate through the initial sign up process and meet you within your Freshworks CRM. So go ahead, sign up, and we'll meet you inside the Freshworks CRM. Okay, so here we are within our Freshworks CRM dashboard. Now the first thing we want to do is navigate up to the top and make sure that we're on the free plan. As you can see we're on the 21 day free trial of the enterprise plan. So what we're going to do is change that by selecting change and then come down here. Now if you like you can remain on the 21 day free trial of the enterprise plan but what we're going to do is click switch trial because today's tutorial is focused on the free plan. So come down, navigate all the way down to the bottom and you will see the free plan hidden away down below. Come down and simply click choose plan. And then come down and select update subscription if you want to shift from the enterprise plan to the free plan. So I'm going to go ahead and select update subscription. And just like that, our subscription has been successfully updated. Then navigate over to fresh sales. And just like that, we've arrived back on our Freshworks CRM, however, within the free plan. So this is what our dashboard will look like in the free plan. You have limited features with the free plan. However, we're gonna go ahead and cover all those features and elements and share with you the limitations of the free plan versus a paid plan within Freshworks CRM. Okay, so if we navigate up to this plus icon, if we select here, we can quickly go ahead and create a new contact. We can create an account. And by creating an account, we can manage our contacts in one place. Then we have add a deal. So you can create a deal for your sales pipeline. Down here, we can create a task. So this could be a reminder about following up with a contact, a lead. Then we have add meeting this is an appointment if we have a meeting we can go ahead and create a meeting then down here we can send an email to a lead or customer so what we're going to do now is navigate over to admin settings on the left hand side and then come down to manage users and this is where you can go ahead and add other users that you want to engage with on your CRM so other people within your organization that need to be involved in your sales process that want to engage with your customers or leads so go ahead and click add user 
and then simply add your new users details. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And then once you've added your new users details, come down and simply click save. And just like that, I've gone ahead and added one user. Now you can add up to 100 users on your free Freshworks CRM account. And go ahead and import multiple users if you like, or add a single user at a time. Now what we wanna do is actually add a contact. So navigate up to contacts on the left hand side, contacts and accounts, and come down and click contacts. And then navigate over to import contacts. And this is where you can go ahead and upload your contacts via a simple CSV file. This is a quick way to import your contacts rather than individually adding your contacts. So if you already have a contact list, go ahead and upload that file. What we're gonna do is exit out of this for now and navigate up to this plus icon and then head over to add contact. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and simply add one contact. I'm going to quickly go ahead and add this new contacts details. And just like that, I've gone ahead and added a new contact. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, this contact is going to be a new lead. So I'm gonna cover some of the important information down here. First, we have accounts. Now, if this individual was part of an organization, I could add that organization in here. However, I haven't gone ahead and created any accounts. So I'm not gonna do that just yet. I'm gonna show you how to create an account later down the track, and then I'm gonna add this contact to that account. Below this, we have some basic information. Then we have the sales owner. Maybe I was the first touch point with this lead. Down here we've got subscription status, subscribed. Below that we've got a subscription type. They are part of our newsletter. And then we have life cycle stage. You can see that this contact is a lead. If I click here, I can also select sales qualified lead or a customer if this contact was a customer, but they are currently a lead. Below that we've got status. And if we select status, we have new contacted, interested, unqualified. This is a completely new lead, so we haven't done anything with this contact, so I'm gonna keep it as new. Then you can also come down and customize these fields if you like. I'm gonna leave all this contact information as it is, and then come down and click save. And once you've added your contact, what you can do is add further information about that contact. So we can edit these details over here. We can come down and move this contact through our sales pipeline. Below that we have further information that we can add about this contact. And then we have our deals. So if you don't know what deals are, basically they are designated opportunities to sell your product or service. So at the moment we don't have any deals. What we could do is navigate up to add deal and we can create a deal for this contact. However, what I'm gonna do is navigate over to the left-hand side and talk more about deals later on. We can also simply add notes about this contact. And then down below, we have recent conversations and recent activities. So what I'm going to do is head back to our contacts. And as you can see, we have our new contact here. Next to creating a contact, what we wanna do is navigate over to the left-hand side and under contacts and accounts, we want to create an account. So click accounts and then simply navigate over to add account. Now this account is going to be a company that Sarah, our new contact that we just created, is going to be a part of. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the account name. And for the purpose of this tutorial, this account, this company is gonna be called True Lemons. Below that we have sales owner. Again, this is going to be me, or I can select another user that is part of this account that is going to be responsible for managing this account. So I'm gonna select myself and then come down and click save. You can also customize the fields of the account if you like. And just like creating a new contact, creating an account is very similar. We have all these details that we can edit in regards to this account. Then below that we have deals, recent conversations. Up here we can create a new deal and then we can add notes. Then we have the profile information about this account that we can simply edit. So go ahead and take the time to edit and add your contacts and your accounts details. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is head back to accounts and then down here you can see our new account. Now, if we navigate over to the right-hand side, you can see this pencil icon. If we click here, 
Here we can quickly edit basic information. Now if we exit out of this one and then navigate down to the three dots and click here, we can go ahead and add a meeting, add a task, view all related contacts, delete or forget. So again, we're gonna cover add tasks and add meetings later in this tutorial. So if we exit out of that and navigate back over to contacts on the left hand side and click contacts, and then come down to the contact we added before, we can send an email, we can click the pencil icon and edit the basic information of our new contact. Now what I wanna do over here is under accounts, select and find the new account that we created, the new company that this contact is part of. And down here, I wanna locate our new account, True Lemons, and then come down and click save. You can now see Sarah, our new contact, is part of our new account, true lemons okay so now we know how to create contacts and accounts now we want to move into deals we want to talk about our sales pipeline so we want to create a deal that's associated to a contact or an account to do that what we're going to do is navigate under contacts and accounts and come down to deals management and select deals and this is where we can see all our open deals. What we wanna do is create a new deal by clicking this plus icon and navigating over to add deal. I'm going to quickly add my new deal and then go through this information. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created my new deal. You can see the name of this deal is website design. We are creating a website for this account, for this company, True Lemons. And you can see the deal value is $10,000. Down here we have the related contacts. This is Sarah Smith, who is part of the account True Lemons. The sales owner is myself. I could select another user. However, I'm managing this lead. Then below that we've got currency that we can change if we like. And then we have custom fields that we can change again if we desire. However, I'm happy with this new deal. Once you've added your new deal information, navigate over to save. And as you can see, we have our new deal over here. You can see the stage is new. If I select here, I can come down and select deal stage and then come down to follow up. So this is the stage in our sales pipeline. I can simply click tick and you can see that our new deal is in the follow up stage of our sales pipeline. Now, if we navigate up to next to deals, open all views, we can change the views to open deals, my deals, my territory deals, and more information down here based on what we want to view on our deals dashboard. Then if we navigate over to the right hand side, we have settings over here, we can click down and this is where we can customize our sales pipeline, set stage probability, and then we have more options down here. Now, if I come out of that one, let's say that this deal needs to be followed up by myself, Stuart Gould. What I can do is navigate up to the top right hand corner and click the plus icon and then navigate over to add task. This is where you can go ahead and create specific tasks. So for example, I'm gonna call this follow up with true lemons. And then down here, what I wanna do is add a description. This is going to be a reminder for me to follow up with this account. So an example could be follow up by phone call regarding new project. Then down here, task type, I can select the task type. This is going to be a call reminder. Then go ahead and select the task date. I'm gonna navigate over to Friday in a few days. And then the time is going to be first thing in the morning, nine o'clock. And then navigate over to owner. This is where you can add the person that's responsible for this task. In this case, this is me. We have related to. This is where you can link another task if it's related to this task then you can collaborate with other individuals on your team if you like. I'm going to come down and click save. And just like that, I've created a task reminder to remind me to follow up with this deal, this account, this contact. Now, if we navigate back up to the plus icon at the top right, we can also go ahead and add a meeting. So if we click add meeting, I can simply go ahead and create an appointment. It's very straightforward to set up and create an appointment, a meeting. So I'm going to exit out of that one. And then finally, if we navigate back over to the plus icon, we can go ahead and create a email and send an email. So if I click send email, I can navigate up to two and then go ahead and add a user or a contact. In this case, I wanna click contact 
and then down here you'd add your subject line and then add your email content then just come down and send that email when you're ready what i'm going to do is exit out of this okay now it's important to share some major limitations with the free freshworks crm plan for example if we navigate up to notifications and click here you will notice that you cannot enable notifications unless you upgrade to a paid plan also if we navigate over to contacts on the left hand side and then click on the contact then navigate down to the bottom you'll notice these integrations now this is important for integrating your inbox your email inbox with your crm rather than jumping between different browsers different tabs on your browser to access email it would be so much easier if everything was in one place and the paid version of freshworks crm provides this however with the free plan you cannot integrate your email inboxes then if we navigate over to the left hand side we have sales conversations you have your inbox and then we have phone now if we come down here to phone and click here you can go ahead and buy a phone number so you can make calls through your crm then if we navigate over here below phone we have chat and then below chat we have freshworks switcher this is where you can head back to your freshworks account now if we navigate over to the far right hand side we have notes where you can add your notes you've got your tasks any of the tasks you've created meetings and files then you also have some basic integrations you can also navigate up to the very top and you can click on your profile and you can change some of your settings your profile settings however that is a brief overview of how you can get started with the free freshworks crm software okay guys so there we have it if you have any questions about the freshworks crm in particular the free plan versus the paid plan then let me know in the comments below this video now with that said thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end if you got value from this video make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and that way i'll see you next time take care guys